On the eve of President Obama's second inaugural, it turns out making history the second time around happens more than you think. 16 presidents have had to do what President Obama will do on Monday, deliver that second inaugural address. Of course, the first to do so, George Washington, March 1793. And his was the shortest inaugural speech, just 135 words. Here, a copy of that speech, historians believe likely in his secretary's handwriting. He said that day, I am again called upon by the voice of my country. Abraham Lincoln, March 1865, a sea of mud on Pennsylvania Avenue after weeks of rain, thousands of spectators standing in it all, the moment reenacted in Lincoln. With malice toward none, with charity for all. It was during Lincoln's second inauguration, African Americans were first invited to participate in the parade. A little more than a month later, he was assassinated. And for women, it wasn't until Woodrow Wilson's inaugural that they were invited to be part of the parade. The banner reading, President Wilson says, this is the time to support woman suffrage. One mother pushing her turn of the century stroller as they walked into history. Two years later, women would begin to vote. FDR's second inaugural, January 1937, the wettest on record. But listen to this. But FDR decided if the crowd could brave the elements, so could he. He insisted on riding in an open car. I, Harry S. Truman, do solemnly swear you will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. A TV first for Harry Truman, January 1949, and Americans could finally watch the inauguration on television. These were the preps more than 50 years ago for Dwight Eisenhower, giant platforms for a mere 12,000 invited guests. There were four inaugural balls awaiting them. Lyndon Johnson made history after one of the darkest days for our country, the first president to ride to his inaugural in a bulletproof limo after the assassination of JFK. Ronald Reagan's second inaugural, so cold, only snow filled the stands. The public swearing in ceremony moved indoors. Bill Clinton ushering in more than just a second term. The first to be carried on that thing called the Internet. I, William Jefferson Clinton. And on Monday, President Obama with the First Lady by his side again, after already making history four years ago, in front of nearly two million spectators.